have been listening to remarks from President Biden. They were wide-ranging remarks. He said that Putin bizarrely indicated the independence of two areas in Ukraine. He said Putin is setting up the rationale to go much further and believes that this is the beginning of a full-scale invasion of Ukraine. He did announce some sanctions as well, a first tranche of sanctions. They include again penalties against two large Russian banks and sanctions on Russian sovereign debt as well, so they cannot trade on international markets. For more reaction, let's bring in our Yahoo Finance's Jennifer Schonberger. Jennifer, there was a direct message from Biden. Don't mess with us. Absolutely, Karina. That's right. The president calling Russia's actions to send troops into Ukraine the beginning of an official invasion by Russia and announcing new punitive actions against Russia. The U.S., as you said, going to sanction two of uh, Russia's banks, including Russia's military bank. Its sovereign bonds is going to cut off access to U.S. and West, uh, Western markets uh, and financing so that they cannot trade with the U.S. or the rest of the West. Uh, starting tomorrow, they're also going to impose sanctions on Russia's elites and family members. The president called Russia's actions a, quote, a flagrant violation of international law and warned that the U.S. is prepared to take further action in the form of sanctions against Russia should Russia continue its aggression, as the president expects. Uh, Biden says he's also authorized U.S. forces and equipment to help Baltic states. He called this a defense mechanism. He still hopes that the diplomacy path is on the table, so giving uh, a option there to still come to the table and talk. Uh, as opposed to going straight to war. Uh, the president also saying that he is talking with oil producers and consumers about ways to limit uh, prices, uh, oil prices, gas prices at the pump so that Americans don't suffer even more uh, from gas prices and oil prices that are already uh, on the rise. Uh, so just a couple of comments there from the president. Back to you. And I, uh, one of the takeaways for me, too, Jen, was that uh, President Biden said the U.S. has no intention of fighting Russia, but will defend every inch of NATO territory. And he said that they are going to be dictated by what Russia does, not by what Russia says, because we know all along uh, President Putin has been saying oil supplies will not be impacted. And as we see it play out in the oil markets, it doesn't seem as though traders have a lot of faith in, in what Putin's saying. Yeah, absolutely, Alexis. All along, the White House has been saying, we are looking at Russia's actions. We don't trust its words. In fact, Russia has repeatedly put out false campaigns, staged uh, different uh, reports to try to put on the news, uh, to turn things around on Ukraine and other allies. The West not falling for that. Certainly, uh, the U.S. seeing right through that. All right, Jen Schoenberger, thanks so much for, for recapping the president's remarks. As we saw there, he left the podium rather quickly, did not take questions from reporters, and they had uh, plenty of them.